Okay. My family has always composted, recycling our food scraps to make rich soil instead of the, throwing the food into the trash to be taken over to the landfill. From my family, I have learned that composting helps plants grow, recycles food, and doesn't produce greenhouse gases. My mom farms with our compost in the soil, growing vegetables in the dirt. The compost provides the many different types of nutrients the plants need to thrive. These healthy, well-fed plants are generally resistant to most of the common diseases and pests that can be harmful to plants that are grown in poor soil. So last year, my CAP mentor, Kyrie, and I started the Morning Star Elementary Compost Project, where we compost all the food scraps that are not eaten at lunchtime. The project can educate the kids on the benefits of composting the food and how it's a great alternative to throwing the food into the landfill where it wouldn't decompose. Originally, the food scraps at Morningstar were going into the landfill. Now about 42 pounds, or one kindergartner in weight, <laughs> is being composted each day. <laughs> in weight, we've reduced about 40% of the things going into the landfill at our school at, at lunchtime every day. Lots of the food scraps that people don't eat end up in the landfill. But if you compost your food, then an amazing cycle happens. Here's a cycle of vermicomposting, which is composting with worms. When you let food waste sit in a pile, it starts to decompose. Then worms digest the food and excrete worm castings. Here are some things that you cannot compost, like plastic straws and plastic utensils. Rubber can take 50 to 80 years to compost. Rubber comes from a tree, which is a living thing, so it decomposes quicker, whereas a plastic bottle can take 450 years to decompose, and a paper bag takes about one month. Uh, food that you can compost includes fruits, vegetables, table scraps, and garden clippings. Uh, fresh items like fruits and vegetables need to be layered with more carbon-rich or brown items, like hay, straw, or wood chips, to produce a pile with a proper airflow. If you create a pile with layering, it should start to heat up and decompose. Uh, you can also compost dairy and meat and bones. However, it may attract pests like skunks or rodents, so many people choose not to. Also, bones decompose slower than other compostable items. The curbside composting companies in Bozeman do accept meat, bones, and dairy. Here's the compost bin at Morningstar. Yes Composting, a local business, picks up our compost amounting to about 200 pounds every week. Then they use vermicomposting with worms to recycle the food so it doesn't go into the landfill. Don't you just want to reach in there and eat that nice uneaten apple? <laughs> yes Composting adds our um, compost with other decomposing food. They add a blend of hay, wood chips, and other browns to help the aeration of the pile. The heat of the pile starts to wrap to reach around 150 degrees. Meanwhile, bacteria is breaking down the food to make the worms a perfect worm food. Then they feed their red wiggler worms the decomposing food. The worms eat, can eat up to one half of their body weight in one day, which is a lot if you compare it to humans. The worms gizzard uses particles of grit to break down the food. It breaks the decomposing food into smaller pieces that plant root systems prefer. When you add worm castings to soil, plants can grow to be hardy and produce food so we can eat. Then if we compost our food scraps, we can continue the circle of composting countless times. Lots of the items in the landfill could be composted, and if we did, we would have very rich soils for plants to grow in. Yes, composting takes the worm waste and sifts through them to get the finest worm castings. The worm waste or worm castings that are left over are great organic plant food. Then Yes sells the final product for residential and commercial use. By using these worm castings, you are continuing the nutrient cycle. Here is an aerobic compost pile, which means it's decomposing with air. The anaerobic method of composting is how the compost decomposes in a landfill. Anaerobic composting takes a lot longer to decompose than aerobic composting and creates greenhouse gases. Another way of composting is feeding food scraps to animals, such as pigs or chickens. My parents' restaurant, Little Star Diner, composts the food scraps there this way, feeding the scraps to pigs. Meet this hungry pig, Pippi, from Black Dog Farms in Livingston. 
Pigs love apples, as you can see in this picture, along with many other foods. In landfills, foods gets buried under other plastics and non-compostable items, making it harder to decompose. Landfills and their machinery create methane gas that contributes to climate change. Composting creates a lot less greenhouse gases and is good for the environment. If food ends up in the landfill, it, la in the landfill it's a dead end for the soil, nutrients, and many other things. The toxins from landfills could lead to diseases and could contaminate water. In the landfill, they squish down the contents so most oxygen doesn't reach the organic material and it doesn't decompose because of the anaerobic method. In Bozeman, we are lucky to have companies who provide curbside compost programs. Also, you can make your own compost very easily. The microorganisms in your compost pile will do most of the work breaking down the food into rich dirt that you can use in your garden or you can share your compost with others. Here are a few examples of compost piles people have made for residential use. It can be enclosed in a wooden box or it can just be a simple pile. To make a pile that doesn't smell badly, you need to properly aerate the pile by turning your compost. Also, remember to layer the green things and the brown things. We could reduce so much food from going into the landfill if we composted instead of throwing the food away. You can start composting today. You just need a space for a pile. So next time you throw away any food, think about where it will go and how it will affect our environment. Thank you for coming.